friends, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done this, so I'm a little awkward on camera vlogging, but we're on a date with Bay. You can't see him, he's over there. We're going to the safari. Okay, so I'm doing this in reverse. We left the safari, but I'm gonna act like we're going back because you guys know I do that. But I tried to do the intro in there and people were just kind of staring at me like I was weird, but it's beautiful. We saw lots of animals, and then we're gonna go on a hike. And then we're gonna have dinner, so I'll just take you along for the weekend, for the day, for the day date, for the dates. The lips are still doing good. If you haven't seen that video, link down below. All right, let's go to the safari. Comment down below if you guys, because I know, whoa, he drives kind of crazy. You can talk, I'm not gonna show you, but he thinks he drives like super cool, but sometimes I feel like I'm gonna literally fly out of this truck. Because I'm driving a truck. You don't know what that feels like. <laughs> I've driven a truck. Anyways, let's go to the safari. How do you know if they're boys? Because they don't have boobs. I think those are all guys, huh? They're older. I think that's a female right there with the big belly sitting there. Oh, really? Yeah. They're older though, right? Yeah, they're all pretty old. I'm, they kind of look like us. Like, they look like humans. Right now. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yep. See the rhino over there? The now, the purpose of the rhino rescue center that we're taking a look at is to be able to study the breeding habits of the rhino. Why do we want to study the breeding habits of the rhino? So that we can gain information to help them out. And first, rhino, to successfully <laughs> given birth to and carry to full term using artificial insemination here in the United States. So what that means is that in the future... This view. I think he said this is called Africa Land. This is my first time. I've never been here. I've been to the San Diego Zoo, but never the safari. So I just, I just got my phone out and I was like, I've got to show my friends this. Um, not dressed appropriately at all. It's kind of cold, but it's just beautiful, friends. Absolutely gorgeous. See the size of my cat. And Wow, it doesn't even look real. Beautiful. Okay, friends. What is this place called? Padakitos Lagoon. Where, where he said. Padakitos Lagoon. Look at how pretty it is. We're in Carlsbad. He just gave me a little tour of Carlsbad. I've never been here, but it's 
Isn't it so pretty? Look at the sky. Almost doesn't even look real. Okay, I'm gonna give this 260 pound man a piggyback ride. Put the camera on me. Just hold it like this. <laughs> Okay. Just one hand, babe. Okay. Now get on. Alright. <laughs> Hold it up so you can see me. How come it's harder now? <laughs> How come it's harder now? Alright, friends. So before we check out, I wanted to show you the Airbnb. So this is literally where you walk in. You walk on these little stones. And look, they have chicken friends. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me put these on my Instagram stories. I think none of them are roosters, so they never really, they never made sounds at all. They, and they're friendly. I thought chickens were mean, but they're very friendly. They'll come up to you. I'm not putting my finger in there, but there's four. Oh, God. Okay, that's enough. So four chickens. One of them's really cute. There's a little seating area here where you can sit out, have your tea and coffee. And then you come in, and this is the front of the cottage super cute <laughs> i've never stayed well this is only yeah well i'll tell you i'm gonna do a whole video on it but so this is the bed this bed was very comfortable so it had the two nightstands were really which are really cute a little table area here and this is what it looks like so i think the owner of the house that's their house over there um closet with a huge dresser this dresser is almost as tall as I am. Closet, fan, so there's no central AC or heat, but this little heater, you guys, it dropped down to like 50 or 45. This thing made it feel like the whole place was 75 degrees. So then you have a kitchen area. Here's me, hey, heading to the gym, looking fly, not really. Look at the view. So you are literally in a mountain. So the driveway's right here. There's hiking, there's a lake over there. I think it's called Lake Hodges. There's little notes everywhere about being on a septic system. So like they don't want you to throw feminine products, toilet paper or anything like in the toilet or the sink. Um, they even had water, oatmeal. They have olive oil, black truffle olive oil, coffee maker, tea kettle. And then this is the bathroom shower which was really nice um the body wash and stuff was included and then sink toilet again a note about i had never stayed at a place that used a septic system but and then more mountain views there